Okay, a short video for a uh, oil pump issue I've been having, or oil pressure at least, I don't know if it is a pump as yet. Um, so, ended up being a little bigger than I'd hoped, having to remove the exhaust and uh, rear bumpers and all this sort of stuff. Engine mounts are off, so the engine is effectively jacked up in the air at the minute. Drain the oil out the bottom of the pump, removing and checking this uh, spring and piston, which uh, fits in here, there. And uh, this casing is off the pump. Now, sometimes the gears come out with it. In this case, yeah, the one that's driven from the engine has come out. So on this, you'll notice if I remove that sprocket, there is a slight bit of wear, which you can just about see here. Now, you can't really feel it, so it's, it's, it, there's not much to it. However, that could be normal, might, uh, it might not be, I've got no idea. The drive itself, if I just remove the other gear tooth, now this, this, in fact, this one here is a little stiff. I can feel it rubbing on the upper edge in here. Just remove that. Um, there's no real signs of abnormality. Um, However, if I put this gear back in, now this could be normal again, I'm not sure. There is a bit of play there. But I, I can't see any reason as to why I'm only getting one bar of oil pressure. Also, you can see this lower hole here, those pink traces, that's coolant dripping out of there. Uh, when I cracked the case open, I noticed uh, coolant coming out of here. But other than that, I thought it was gonna be fairly obvious. It's, it's uh, a fairly known issue with with this drive here it's like an allen key 8 mil allen key drive about 50 mil long if i pull that out these are known to shear so i actually bought the new part to replace that drive but um that wasn't the case it wasn't that that was causing me the problem which is the most logical thing i was expecting anyway if anyone knows what the uh, problem may or may not be that would be quite handy